Good morning, afternoon actually, it is afternoon. It is isn't afternoon, it? Just. yeah. Um, so we've come for a walk out up at Crookhill Park uh, following the vlog I did the other week with holes 40, sorry, 15 to 18. We're going to come and film some more for you. So we're going to start off on hole one. So I'll do the same, we'll, we'll film so many, have a chat as we go around, and see what condition the course is in, and just see what you've got to look forward to when you come up here and play with us. So, hole number one. First tee. First tee. This is this is the one that's a bit of a, a, a bit of a bugger for the ladies. So I shall spin you around. We have seen a load of cars parked down the bottom as well, so I don't think people playing cars we don't recognise. So we'll see as we go around, shall we? Anyway, let's have a look. So I think that might be something into that. So a whole one. Here we go. So this is the tea box for the whites and the yellows. Which is quite so nice. dog leg to your dog leg to the right. right. And uh the aiming point. I'm pretty much aim for that um stake. The stake in the middle there. But they're looking really, really nice actually. A lot of the, the round here, there was loads of mole wheels for ages, weren't there? But they seem to have. You can see it's quite an open, open shop. There's gents up there too. Yeah, straight out middle. But if you just much. come down and have a look at where the ladies tee off, always puzzling why the ladies tee off on this side. It's awful. You think actually with here it'd be like a, a higher stroke index than seven, because. This is, this is where you're looking, you can see the corner of that tree there just after there it goes down and round to the right so this is where if you've got a nice slice it works perfect as long as you aim in that general direction it'll, it'll fade round fade round or slice power power fade. fade power fade or slice whichever suits your game well I tend to call it a power fade power fade I call it a power slice Obviously everything's downhill for me. It's all downhill for me. <laughs> it does it does look in lovely condition. Yeah, I really can't wait to come and play. It's just gonna be absolutely fantastic. And again the grass feels quite bouncy under your feet as well. If you, if, if you, I tend to think if you're on the left hand side of the fairway here. Yeah. You're probably in the better. Yeah, you definitely need to, need to aim to the left. Aim to the left. Because down. the thing is, if, if you aim, even if you aim down the middle, with the downhill slope, it kicks you around, it kicks you into the trees anyway. So then you've got to mess around trying to get out of the trees to take a shot to the green. So you're kind of wasting a shot there. As you come to it, fair way. So you can see it kind of That's opens gone. right up. And that is the famous tree in hole one. The bell tree. The bell tree, yes. So if any of you see it saw um a vlog I did where I was gonna, I was trying to do was it that one? All three T's, three balls or three T's, which I'm gonna redo by the way. Um it kinda went disastrous because I was on my own and the weather conditions weren't great. And it was the first time in like forever that I hit that bell tree. And that's when where I, I actually said on the film, are you S H I T T I N G me, which I think Alan Alan Harris Newstead he think he nearly choked on his drink when he was yeah. watching that. <laughs> stakes as well. Him putting new stakes. In. Oh, him putting new stakes in. Look down by the uh, the fluffy white blossom tree. It's absolutely lovely. Look, look at this. The plants are some new little trees down there. Look, some new saplings. Oh yeah. We're also uh, trying to create a few trees. They have chopped a few yeah. trees, which is good. Oh, it's getting a bit windy. I do apologise. So it's quite, it's quite a wide open fairway. This one. If it weren't for that blinking tree. It wasn't for that blinking tree. But there's not a massive amount of trouble you can get into in this hole. If, you, if you're fairly accurate, you can kind of get out of most things. So when you get down to here, that's when you've got to hit the bell. Ding ding. 
and that just lets the guys know back up on the tee box that it's clear for them to take the tee shot. But we don't know how they're going to do that. We've got yes. to have a 10 minute gap. Yeah. You so might have to finish second and come back and ring it. For so if they, if they do reopen the courses, yeah, one of the things is two, two balls over 10 minutes. Because normally if you had a two baller down there, it'd be yeah, a couple of minutes yeah, with this now. Wouldn't be long, would it? So I think it's just people are going to have to be quite um, strict. Patient. patient and strict with themselves yeah. about what time they're teeing off. Tea off. Make sure you don't tee off late. Don't tee off late, but don't think, oh, it's great, it's clear, I'll go now. Yeah. No, you stick to your tea time and that's it, pal. Jog on. So... We've been doing a lot of course work on course, but I think bunkers are going to need a bit of... I think bunkers are going to need yeah. a bit of thing. I mean, by all means, keep, keep your bunkers at ground and repair for me. I'm more than happy. So we'll just have a... Have a zoom into the green at the minute. Apparently somebody saw... I think it was Mick Barron who said. Or some, somebody said... Was it someone called Mark? They said they'd come up here for a walk of the week. And so there were some people played. playing about uh, 7 o'clock at night. Which I thought the holes had been taken out of the greens, so I don't quite know what they were putting into. They'd just be playing out the greens, right? Yeah, possibly. So, you see the greens are still patchy in places. They've done a lot of work, they? But they have done a lot of work, so scarifying can take a while to kind of get going, but you know, get, get the greens back in decent condition again. But, compared to what they have been, they are a lot better. So you can still see some patches. But no, it's uh, looking alright, isn't it? Even though the like you said, play on them. I'd still play on them, yeah. absolutely, of course I would. So then we come to hole two, which is just to the left of um, hole one. So you're going down into the opposite direction now. This is the one that's a little bit trickier on your tee shot. Yeah. This is the one that Neil doesn't like very much, do you Neil? I don't. I don't like this one. It's a bit of a... Why is that Neil? Well, because well, I keep losing my golf ball. <laughs> oh dear. Poor Neil. Oh, they need to cut that back. What? That, that bit where you lose your balls. Oh, yeah. Sometimes so, I don't know. So there we go. Oh two. And this is pretty much the tee box for all yellow, white and red. Yeah. So obviously your whites will be further back, but your reds are fairly close to the front See, of the this is, this is what we were talking about the other day, Colin. You know when we were talking about um, your bet that you've got with three people that I didn't know about? <laughs> that you, yes. your scores would be, you, you think you could do better on yellows than you can reds. But if you just look at this tee box here, you're talking nine yards. Yeah. Between you, so th this, th that's why I'm saying I, I think you, prob you probably could do better on yellows. I, I, don't, I certainly don't think I'll do any worse. I, I, th I think there's a, th there's a couple of holes where it, it, it is significantly. Let's come uh, in for a chat. Significantly. Let's come in for a chat. I think it's significantly longer, isn't it, on some holes? There's a couple that are, yeah. Um, but I just need to pull my finger out. Yeah, but it's not, like I say, ni nine yards, I think is neither here nor there, there, is it, no. you know? So what you're saying yeah. is I stand a chance? I think you stand a chance. I'm not saying you're going to do it, I'm saying you stand a chance and you're paying your own bets if you lose. <laughs> but I'm quite happy to share the money if you want. <gasps> no, 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 don't worry about that, pal. If I'm paying, I'm, I'm um, keeping as well. So anyway, let's go round and down to hole two. Again, another dog leg. But you see, it's quite. This is quite narrow. This the, the where you drive off. And and you really do need to be. I said left hand side last last hole, you but really this is left. a definite left hand because mm -hmm. everything runs to the right yeah. on this one. So. But you can see this here. I, I'm, I can talk a really good game. I know exactly what I need to do. I just can't do it. Is it like the old all yeah, the gear yeah, no idea kind yeah, of yeah. All the, uh, concept? Yes, yeah. I've no idea. You know what to do, I you just can't do exactly it. exactly where the ball should be. You don't know how to execute it. it. Just don't know how to execute it. So you can see this here, this is quite long. And this is quite long most of the year. Yeah. Not, not, maybe it's not quite this long. I don't think so, sometimes, sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. But, so if you do happen to shank your tee shot, 
you're either going to go into them trees and if kids, kids go back to your ball you're going to go into these trees somewhere and kids go back to your ball or you're going to get caught in this long, long stuff and if you do happen to catch your ball trying to get out of it you could be looking at a couple of shots because it's gnarly long manky and you just get stuck don't you really yeah do you know what i think this is normally longer all the way up here though i think they have cut it back a bit i think it normally comes like what you think it normally comes about here yeah, i think so yeah, maybe it's. So it's trimmed it back a bit I, I think that's a good idea because it is a i know what them cars are babe they're working oh uh, there's work man there's work. so oh my god they're probably cutting stuff back so look down there you can just see some people and there's someone on his bike going past as well but they're doing some work that's on the um at the back of hole 12 isn't it yeah do you know, do you know what? what that's normally you can't normally see any of that no no you can't look, look at all the trees in there well we'll come to that hole won't we i bet you've uh, i bet you can get a right ball harvest down there yeah. now that's like a pond in there isn't yeah, it yeah there's some sort that. of water feature so the the trimming well down there aren't they we'll show you that later that'll be in another vlog i think so you can see on here you can see the there's, a, there's like a camera in the in the fairway so what neil was saying well when you you hit here you're still going to roll down so if you aim down the middle you, you go in them trees guaranteed it absolutely guaranteed you go in the trees and again if you go into them trees you can get quite a good roll on it but you're looking at a shot to get out and then a shot to the green so you're just wasting wasting shots having said that you have to, you have to be careful when you do come out if you're heading to the right uh, sorry, sorry to the left because you could still end up over on that side so this hole is probably one of the few that is very unforgiving would you agree neil yeah and then when you when you come around you've got lovely so if you do manage to get your tee shot somewhere up here i think which, it's one of the nicest holes when, which, you, when you get to yeah. your for your next shot occasionally i have managed it and but you can nice see you kind of coming into the well oh, they can kind of see it from here though it's that's a nicer view from this oh, for god's sake so but just because neil says it's a nicer view from here now i can't see a difference between where i was about two seconds ago and here but be your own judge of that but again you can see the, the courses are, you've got a few dandelions but you're going to get them but it's uh, in between cuts of course but it is looking really really nice and then you can see the stone the path right through to hole three as well this this one actually i think this is my achilles heel Ooh, we'll this up, one we'll up your favorite one, aren't we? no, we'll talk about that when we get there but this one i don't think i've ever actually parred it but this one yeah i think every other hole on the course i've parred at some point at some point not at the same time because otherwise i'd be like awesome but i have done them this is I the only one parred huh I think I've parred you've parred this but i haven't it's the only one that i have not parred which is a nightmare if i'm honest you know what, if i just can just do it once it'd be awesome at least i can throw back and do it so yeah so this is the uh Again, this is a lot better condition than it was. It's ever been this, really. Yeah, it may not look it to the untrained eye, but is it about a year ago? Yeah, yeah this was a nightmare, wasn't yeah, it? Because it, 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 it was. You can just see. In fact, I'll show you. In the winter, it's always off. Of, off. Of, yeah, it's always off winter greens. You get, you get it used some, to be, but what this drainage you've now. Got a lot of drain. Uh, a lot of. Uh, so you can see here. Very wet they put this drain in through there, so straight through there back last year it was just a ditch and it was awful and you get all stuck in it and it was all, all ground and under repair for most of the year so it was just awful but so put this bit of a drain in now oh so was having a good time yeah. mind your language timothy's uh, so yeah so it's you can kind of see it still wants it's still repairing but if you'd have seen if you'd have seen how it was a few months ago after all the wet weather it is actually in a lot better condition even though it may not look it so the stone this path up to um, hole three which is that one by the way the, that was a par four oh you can see because i'm putting the uh, 
Well, I'm saying that, but I'm, I'm showing the the whole plaques anyway, so people yeah. can see what part of the are. I have to say, I'm not looking forward to that sky up there. It's looking a bit grey up there. We might just have to do a couple of holes. So we'll just see. We'll see how far we get today. We get we'll try and get as much filming to, done today of the course, and then at least it'll give you guys something to watch over the next week or two. So right up here, hole three, my, my favourite. Not. There's no plaque here. Oh, well, where's the plaque? Surely there must be one. But well, we'll again, this this um, tea box is for all yeah. red, white, and yellow. You feel there's not one like laid down somewhere. I can't see what it's normally not there, is it? It might be really fair when it's coming. Well, well, you can look at a scarf card. Mm, what is it? Right. Anyway, it is a. Um, Par three, so again, it's quite a nice, pretty little hole. So that sounds really wrong there. <laughs> Stop it. So we'll just zoom in. That bunker there it's Colin's is Colin's favourite bunker. It's a charity bunker right in front of the green. And put a, if you get in there, you put a pound in it. Captain's charity. Is it Captain's charity. To which I probably contributed quite a lot over the last couple of years. Yeah. Well, some, I haven't. Some, uh, some members, some members, actually don't refer to it as the charity bunker anymore. They refer it to to Corin's bunker because she's paid that many pounds. Well, when I say she's paid that many pounds, I've paid <laughs> that many pounds into the charity box for her. True story. They, re they, they actually think that she's bought it. Every grain of sand in there is owned by Colin. Yeah, true story. Yeah. And this is the one where I was playing with Sheila one uh, year before last in one of the knockout competitions. Yeah. And it was a, sta a stroke play one. Now, obviously, stable food you're fine because if you can't win a hole, you pick up and off you go next. What next hole? Obviously, stroke play, you cannot stop until you hole out. So this particular day, I got stuck in the bunker. I was on about three shots, uh, I teed off into the bunker, so I was one in. I was on about a whole uh, shot four to try and get out, and I was getting a bit more irritated. And that's the last thing to do, because you get irritated, you play worse. And I did play worse, and I started getting really irritated. I even tried to come out of the side, which I couldn't do. I ended up going backwards to get out, and I just think, I hope to God I don't go back in, and I didn't. But it took me, you ready for this? To be 18 shots to get out of the bunker. <laughs> I think that's a that's a record. Yeah, come on, let's walk down. So uh, I think I actually hold out on 23. Yeah. So I, I like three putted. They've thinned all that out as well, Karen, I think. Yeah, they have. Yeah. So yeah, so, so this is my nasty hole. It's your Hercules heel. It's my heel. Hercules heel. This one, yeah. not Hercules, my Hercules heel. As Mr. Barlow would say. But that, that looks a lot tidy there as well. Worth of. Um, let's just show you, shall we? So you can see where that stake is there. That's not on the bottom. Can you see it? Uh, can you see it? Yep, I can. Just there. So all that area is uh, is been ground under repair for about two years. Because yeah. again, when it rains, that area oh, there is the one that um, it just gets like a quagmire. Quag? Oh what? Quagmire. Quagmire. Yeah. That's a good word. I know. I keep teaching you new words, don't I? What does it mean? It means it's very boggy. <laughs> It sounds like something out of Star Trek or oh, something. You'll have, to, you'll have to Google it, won't you? You'll have to Google the actual meaning of it. Oh, there's a fly on the head. Mm. So they've cut all that back as well, you can see the pile of wood. Yep. Where they've... they've thinned all that out, haven't they? Yeah. Well, so that's... So the maintenance work they've done yeah. is absolutely fantastic. So you, you can sort of like... There must, there must be other golf courses where they can't actually do what they need to do, or want to do. Well, while it's open. While, while it's open, so... This closing down might, might <coughs> benefit overall, might it? Oh, someone's been drinking. Yeah, not me. You're not, you were drinking last Can night, you weren't you? Me. Yeah. Stella as well. Stella. Someone's been drinking wife beater. Uh, shocking. Absolutely shocking. So, this is the green again. It's 
It probably looks a bit more ropey than, than, it, is, yeah. than it is, but it's one I think, well, a couple of weeks of fertiliser, I think it'll kind of bring it back to life, I think. We'll get, so. we'll get it, won't we? So, right. don't know what that just did there. So, um, so we'll that's, we'll end it here for this one. So that's Crock Hill Park holes one to three. One to three. Um, and keep watching for the rest Did of the course. Did you say one, two, three, or one, two, three? One to three, or one, two, three? Does it matter? Well, when we got next, oh, are you going to go four, five, six? Or no, I'll go four, four, to, to six? four to six. Right, okay. So just checking pronunciation. Well, there's always one in there, it's always you. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed that, um, and we'll carry on and keep watching out for the rest of the course. So take care and we'll see you soon, hopefully. See you later.